Yeah, that's it. Can you? Uh, so I, I actually I, I believed I had found this fossil that's called uh, Murchisonia, uh, but this this is a fossil from the um, Paleozoic time, and, and now I know that there was no Paleozoic fossils around uh, this place in uh, the the northern suburb of Paris, and it's it's most likely one of the Ceritium uh, or Turritella that I had found. But okay, I believed it was that one, so it was a false identification. But okay, it it showed me that using books you could identify all the species of creatures that don't exist anymore that lived hundreds or tens of million years ago and basically um, somehow uh, travel through time and, 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 and see the life how it was a long time before humans were on earth and still now I'm, I'm very fascinated by, by fossils this is a, uh, a plate uh, coming from uh, the uh, south of Massif Central in, in France and uh, maybe you can see it but you have little uh, food trucks on, the, on these plates and these, these creatures live hundreds of uh, million years ago and they are basically the first uh, vertebrates that started to step on the continents they are not the very first but amphibians that existed uh, at the end of the of the Paleozoic, and uh, there were no mammals at this time period, even no reptiles, but there were sort of uh, small amphibians. Uh, still now, I'm I'm very moved uh, looking at these these things, uh, thinking that uh, a living creature uh, left that such a long time ago, and we can still uh, see it, um, study it, and somehow give life to uh, a being that, it, I mean, died such a long time ago.